Lawrence! Come on! The Blues are going up! Alley, alley, alley! Alley, alley, alley! So we are now indeed out of the Carabao Cup, losing 5-2 to Blackburn. And if I'm honest, I'm not particularly bothered just because it is obviously unfortunate we did lose that game, especially convincingly as well, but some very good chances for the youngsters who did look good as well. Um, and not only that as well, ease the fixture congestion, and to be honest, we've had a good cup run, so I don't mind. And unfortunately, that was the free game winning streak ending, but we can make it four in a row in the championship. However, we are playing against Rotherham today, who haven't been the greatest, uh, let's just say, this season, and are one of the favourites to hit the drop. But the team news is out, and I'm pretty impressed with it, bar the midfield, because I do think that Mr. Ruben Cole himself deserved his start today. So, Anakin Goal, NG, McGuinness, Gutas, and Collins at the back, with a midfield free of Siopis. Wintel and Rolls, and then Mete Grant and Keonatete up front with a bench of Runison Panzo, uh, Romeo, Adam Sawyers, Tanner, Ruben Colwell, Callum Robinson, and EK Ogbo. Very interesting game today. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can run away with this one quite convincingly considering how well we have played uh, within the last couple of matches. Very embarrassing Rotherham as well. A, because of what happened last season where, well, they pretty much called off the first game, didn't they? And, and the fact they're only taking 300 fans today, which, in my opinion, Saturday afternoon in the championship is an utter disgrace. But apart from that, bring it on. Let's do it. Thoughts on today then? Um massive banana skin I, I just feel full of confidence and everything but uh, these are the types of games where we may find it quite difficult to break them down etc i know they got former players but i think peltier and morrison are actually out injured i believe that um jordan hugel returns to cardiff city he stadium is. i think he scored last week and they had a, actually had a very very good result against preston and that i think that those were the first points dropped by um by preston last last weekend so Difficult match, I think this one, especially with the uh, the midfield three, uh, quite similar in the way they play. But it should see either Wintle or Rawls push on to that number ten space or spot. I would have liked to see Colwell in there or even Robinson, even though he's not quite up to match fitness, is he at the moment? But uh, yeah, hopefully we can get all three points. We should take all three points, and uh, I think we will. But I think it's not going to be all plain sailing. And Kiona Tete, it's his chance now today to see. You know, to really grasp that number nine or that centre forward spot from from Ugbo, whether he takes that chance or not, we'll we'll find out in the next ninety minutes or so. Come on, boys. Oh, you should have had that, Itete. Come on, man. Save. Well, let's have that. You see, Opis. Oh, come on, ref. You take away his battle. That's shocking. Can't play it through, Carlon. Oh, I never wasted a chance. Come on, man. Come on, lads. Look at the play through. Come on. Hey, come on. Nowhere near the ball. There we go. Come on. This is our surely. City. Oh. 
least. Let me guess, 10 minutes added time? I don't even know. Here we go, how many minutes? Only four. God. I know. Okay, so that's the end of the first half, and uh, yeah, still nil nil. Gotta say, that was so trash, it was unbelievable. The amount of mistakes, missed opportunities, uh, pummeling it forwards, but then it goes out for a throw into Rotherham. It was just endless. They, we should, no offense to Rotherham, of course, but with the way that we've been playing and the way they've been playing as well, we should be absolutely walking all over in this game. Like, the, the quality difference is quite staggering. They're, off, they're not offering anything going forward. Uh, we're competing really well defensively, actually, but at the end of the day, we got to massively up the tempo, make changes, and really just... We just need to really fly through them in the second half, to be honest. But, yeah, that was incredibly disappointing. What do you think? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be better second half, maybe, than quality-wise more than there was. I'm not sure. It seems a little bit windy out there, and I... From experience, I can tell you, playing football in the wind is absolutely horrible. But, uh, yeah, uh, sometimes controlling the ball hasn't been the best, has it? We've had a couple of chances at Tete, had a really decent chance, didn't he? And uh, yeah. who else? Was it, I'm not sure if it was Grant or... Grant, yeah. And um, someone else who I can't even remember. It might have been Tan, it might be... I can't remember exactly who it was, but uh, yeah, we'll up it second half. We usually do, we usually come out all guns blazing, don't we? So, uh, so we're missing Ramsey, I think, with the creativity in the middle, aren't we? Yeah. But, uh, overall, nil nil. Hopefully, you'll get a bit more exciting second half. Go on. Well done. Oh, go on, shoot! Oh, come on! Well done! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Come on! There we go! Come on! Here they go, the Cardiff City scored by number nine, Kira Lovely. Well in, done in ball. Paul Grant, we're whipper in. Go on. Oh, just wide. Unlucky Tanner. Jack and go. Oh, come on. Go on, go down, go down. Could have had a pen then. There we are. Arrow bullets for me, are they? Go on, oh. oh, what a save. Oh, what a. Oh. Tanner, you should have gone the whole way. Come on, man. 
Cardiff City. Oh, thank God for that. Super Jack and it can go. I'd say we brought that back really well in the end. Um, getting that first Keone Tete goal, he was crying out for a good start, especially at striker, uh, and gets his goal well. And then that Perry NG goal to finish it off. First half, very sloppy, very drab, but then we brought it back really well and offered a very good performance. So, so never thought I'd say this at the start of the season into the playoffs. And yeah, four games in a row now that we have won in the championship. Fantastic. What do you think? Yeah, in the end, it was um, a well-deserved victory, wasn't it? Second half, they opened up, and we had everything going forward. Could have scored one or two more as well, but didn't have anything real clear-cut ones. But, uh, yeah, Atete, I think that was probably one of the best performances in a Cardiff shirt from him. Maybe he was holding it, the ball up well. He was. Uh, we know he's tricky on the floor as well for a big man, as they say. And um, he took his goal as well really well header wasn't it and when he had uh, i think it was like two 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 um Rotherham defenders around him as well and perry ng sort of it was ricocheting around the ball in i think it was for the for that second goal and uh smashes in in the back of the net did it tried a bit of a knee slide and it didn't really come off him but i don't think that part of the pitch watered <laughs> very well and he sort of took a bit of a tumble but uh yeah thoroughly deserved three points for second half colin grant played a lot better than the first half um, you know, there were still balls going out here and there, but uh, you can't sniff at that three points against a team who were going to be battling and putting, what was it, 10 or 11 players behind the ball for a lot of the match. Hugo did cause um, our rear guard some problems in, in the, the sort of physicality side of the, the game, but uh, in the end, I think uh, Cardiff are well worth uh, that, uh, that victory, and thanks for letting me have it. But overall, yeah, we're in the playoffs and um, fantastic, brilliant. Yes. Um, marching on to uh, Middlesbrough up north on Tuesday. Yep, another northern away day. So within a matter of pretty much a week, Sunderland away, Blackburn away, Middlesbrough away. Car, some of our fans are racking up the miles this week. But uh, yeah, it puts us in good stead. I believe Middlesbrough got a good result um, today as well after a poor start to the season they've had. Two, I think. Yes, and then we got a, a very winnable fixture as well, which it's not going to be easy. But then we got uh, Watford next uh, Saturday as well. So if you haven't enjoyed it, please remember to like, comment, subscribe to where you can support the channel. That would be appreciated. Follow us on social media in the description below. And I'll see you all next time. Au revoir.